Hey everyone, Sean here from Technically Not a Technician. We've all been there, right? You grab a huge MAME ROM set, excited to play some classics, you open the folder, and BAM! 10,000 files staring back at you. Console games, old computers, duplicates, stuff that doesn't even work. It's overwhelming. Well, today I want to share a tool I've been developing to fix exactly that, and I actually need your help to make it even better. Let me show you the MAME Smart ROM Sorter. This is a free tool I built that scans that massive ROM set and automatically builds you a clean, playable, arcade-only folder. And the best part? It's smart enough to grab all the essential extras, the BIOS files, the CHUDs, that's a .chd file, and the sample files, so your games just work. Now, before we dive in, a quick but vital safety tip. This tool physically copies files. Please, please, please work on a backup copy of your ROM set, not your original master set. Seriously, always have a backup. Now, assuming you've got that backup ready, let's get started. This video assumes you've got two main things already sorted. A working MAME installation. A non-merged ROM set that matches your MAME version. If you're thinking, whoa, hold up, Sean, don't worry. If you need help getting MAME set up, or you're confused about merged versus non-merged ROMs, I've got guides for both. Check the links in the description below, they'll get you up to speed. All right, for everyone ready to go, there's one crucial file we need MAME itself to create, the full XML file. Think of this as the master list, the brain that tells our sorter what's what. Getting it is the only slightly technical step, and it's straightforward. Go to your MAME installation folder. Right-click inside the folder, not on a file, just in the empty space, and choose Open in Terminal or Open PowerShell Window here. Now type this exact command. I've put it on screen and in the description so you can copy and paste it. Hit Enter. It might take a minute or two, depending on your system. When it's done, you'll see a brand new full XML file right there in your MAME folder. Perfect. Next, head over to my GitHub page, link is in the description, and download the MAME Sorter tool. Look for the Releases section to grab the latest version. Now, here's the golden rule for making MAME sorting easy. Copy the MAME Sorter file you just downloaded. It'll be a .exe file and paste it directly into the root of your MAME directory, right alongside that full XML file you just made, and near your ROMs folder. Putting everything together like this lets the program find things automatically later. Now that we have that done, one last critical heads up before you run this. When you first download and try to run the sorter, Windows is probably going to show a warning message. It might be a big blue screen saying Windows protected your PC, or maybe Windows wouldn't let you download this file. There is a good reason for that, and please do not panic. This is what's known as a false positive. It looks scary, but it's okay. Here's why it happens. I packaged the Python script into an easy to use executable file using a common tool called PyInstaller. As just one person creating free tools and not a large software company, I haven't paid for a special digital signature to verify the file. Windows sees an unsigned program it doesn't recognize and automatically gets suspicious. I give you my personal guarantee. The code is clean. It does nothing except read your XML and copy your ROM files. The full source code is public right there on the GitHub page for anyone to inspect. When you see that blue Windows protected your PC screen, just click where it says More Info, and then you'll see a button appear that says Run Anyway. Once you click that button, you're ready to proceed. With that information out of the way, let's run the tool. Double-click the MAME ROM sorter program, First up is the welcome screen with the terms. Click Agree and Continue when you're ready. 
Feel free to check out the YouTube and coffee links on this screen too. Clicking those really helps support the channel and future projects like this one. Now, since we followed the golden rule by placing the sorter in our MAME folder, you will notice that it has already located our samples folder and the full XML file. This is nice, as it helps us be lazy. It's also set a default name for the output folder called Filtered MAME Set. The only thing you need to do is tell it where your main ROMs folder is. Click Browse and point it to your ROMs folder. Let's test this process out and do our first sort. Scenario 1. A typical home arcade cabinet. I want games for my two-player cabinet with standard controls. So, I'll set max players to 2, max buttons to 6. For control types, I'll grab joystick and buttons only. Since it's a classic cab under joystick directions, I only need 4-way. I'll stick to horizontal screen games, definitely only working ones. And yeah, let's include official clones for different game versions. Down in locale, I'll prioritize USA, world, then Euro regions, and just English language. Now just hit run. The tool scans that big full XML file, finds every single game matching our cabinet setup, and copies everything needed, ROMs, BIOS, CHUDs, samples, into the output folder, and done. Let's verify the output. As you can see, a ROMs folder and a samples folder ready to drop into a fresh MAME install for this cabinet. It also creates a filter log in a text file format listing every game it kept. This is sexy and seems to be working as designed. I'll rename this output folder to cab test set so we don't overwrite it. Okay. Scenario 2. The Couch Gamer. What if you just want all the playable arcade gems that work well with a standard USB gamepad? Let's run it again. This time, max players to four, max buttons to all. Controls, joystick, and buttons only again. Directions, let's grab four-way, eight-way, and both two-way options, covering almost everything. Screen, both horizontal and vertical. Filters. Let's go wild and include official clones, bootlegs and hacks, and prototypes. We'll keep the same locale settings. With these settings in place, I'll hit Run. These settings will give us a much bigger set, perfect for exploring hidden gems on a PC or console setup. Once it finishes, you just need to point MAME to this new ROMs folder, after backing up your old one, of course. So that's the MAME Smart ROM Sorter in action. As you can see, it's already a really powerful tool for cleaning up those messy ROM sets. But this is the very first time it's being released outside my own testing. That's why I'm calling this a community alpha test. And this is where you come in. I need your help, your eagle eyes, your expertise, to find the inevitable bugs and quirks I've missed. The download link for the tool is on my GitHub page, linked right down there in the description. Please download it, grab your backup ROM set, and put it through its paces. When, and I don't mean if, I mean when, you find something weird, a crash, a game that shouldn't be there, a feature that doesn't work right, head back to that GitHub page, click the Issues tab, and report it. Please let me know what happened. Your feedback will directly help shape the future of this free tool and make it better for the entire arcade community. Let's build this tool together. If you're new to MAME and feeling a bit lost, don't forget to check out my MAME for Dummies guide right here. And that merged versus non-merged video is crucial. Find it here too. I'll also link that Techno Parrot intro if you're exploring modern arcade stuff. Seriously. Thank you for watching, and especially thank you if you decide to help test this tool out. It means the world to me. If you like this kind of project and want to support the channel, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Those clicks make a huge difference. Please let me know in the comments and on GitHub how the sorter works for you. Thanks again, and happy gaming.